You know, I could complain. That's all I got out of all the corn I planted. But uh, I only planted, in all honesty, about 14 rows about 8 feet long. So I'm thinking I should almost have enough seed corn to be a little bit more than what I originally planted. So since I got a gain of seed, which is what I wanted in the first place, would you say <laughs> that this was a success? I don't know, but uh, them raccoons got all my corn. I don't know. We got a lot to learn. Look at the size of these jalapenos. And I have a lot to be thankful here. I really wanted the seed for uh, romaine and butter lettuce next year. And it looks like I really have a lot. See, I'll pull it off and show it to you. See all the little tiny seeds? So I'll have enough seed next year for my own um, lettuce. That's, look at how weird these get. Now, I'm not used to that. No, that's nothing else. That is a lettuce. That's how tall they got. But I let them get this way because I wanted the seed. I wanted that seed. Seed out here is really expensive. And I wanted that. Look at that. What do you know? That's one of them Japanese beetles. I did get some pretty flowers, so didn't I? Come on. You know I did. And I have a lot of seed on those, too. So I'm rather excited about that. Our pumpkins went kaput. No matter how much I watered them, it didn't do any good. So that method of pan planting, you take a bag, you cut one side of the bag, put it towards the ground, and then cut the other opening. I will never do that again. Strange but true, my, some of my spaghetti squash actually lived through all that heat. I absolutely wanted nothing to do with it after I had such a hard time with those squash bugs. But looky here actually growing new plants. Now what am I to think about that? <laughs> I don't know. And then as you can see I have gobs of red peppers. These are those jalapeno peppers. And a friend from school asked me if I had any that she could have. Boy would she be surprised this Monday when I come to school. We grow tiny heads of cabbage. But I guess tiny is better than nothing. And I am going to dehydrate it. And we'll try to use it in pasties or uh, maybe some, um, oh, pot pies of some type. We're going to try different things. That sunflower, it's just sort of drying up now. But uh, I never planted that. Isn't that amazing? Hey, looky here what I found in the garden. I mean, it's not the greatest, but it's more of that Rocky Mountain um, painted corn that I wanted seed for. And I'm wondering if I could use this for seed. Well, that's a lot more than I thought and what I showed you at the beginning of this video. So maybe somebody up in heaven is looking down on me and saying, I'm giving you seed for next year. Make sure the raccoons don't get it. I'll sure try. I'll sure try. There, it might not be mighty. It might not be fancy. But it's going to sit on that wall and remind me the next spring to make sure my garden's secure from the raccoons and the deer. And I'm thankful.